Hello comrade and welcome back to episode 5. Today we are optimizing our oil field and starting the preparations for our bauxite construction yard. So let's stay tuned. Okay, here we are. Um, the last time we started the first pump, the second pump is also online. So let's see if the third pump is under construction. Give me the GUI. Be nice. Construction office. Do this. And the highest priority. Do that on the medium priority, low priority, medium priority, medium priority, and do this one on the lowest priority. So let's hope they work one after another. Yeah, the road is done. Okay, we will add some pumps a little bit later, I think. Next one. Uh, this really didn't perform so super duper nice like I hoped <laughs> so let's pull them out at the last episode they exported uh, half a load or even less of a load of oil so I will assign them manually go here Because if I assign, make a manual line, I can assure that they are loading full. Like here, load until full oil and unload at the border. Okay. And you do compadres. Compadre. <laughs> Let's see if this one works. Would be really. You don't go to the depot. No. Why should you? Okay. You are somewhere here, maybe. Where are you? Too many windows. <laughs> okay. Got them all. But you don't go to the depot. And you don't go to the depot. Okay, first pump dealt with. Second pump needs some more oil tanks. Thank you, thank you. Because we will buy a lot of oil tanks today, I will buy some here. So I can assign them as I want to. Our money situation is bleak. <laughs> we will do a lot today, so I will take a lot of loans. We okay. <laughs> we basically uh, 400,000 in the debt. Let's take 750 for one year. We pay this one. Thank you. 750. Have 350 to play with. Okay. Mm, so we are here done. Oh. If the oil tanks here arrive, I can assign the second pump. You. And you. Let's assign you. I think one is enough. Okay. Second pump. The pump should be quite high. Yeah, it's nearly 70%. 70% gets uh, three trucks. 30% goes. So let's say every 25% one truck, more or less. 
let's go for that. Because I don't want to overextend the truck usage and um, I want to have them swimmingly going here and there. Don't go there. Go there. Uh, go and load, yep. Hopefully you are dead. You are free. You are mine. Okay. Don't go there. Okay. Next one. You are free. You are pump number two. And don't go there. Okay. So we have uh, six oil tanks in use. Many more to come. Um, I can restock here the oil tank kitsch. The game has some mechanics to counter what I am doing. Uh, basically earning money without people. There are some price mechanics which really hurt. So baseline is diversify and export as little as possible. <laughs> or export via ship. Which I am doing here. This one gets on the lowest priority, yeah. Let's sort out our construction offices here, because I was a long time here and really not sure if everything... Oh, the people, the people are, let's say, let's see, <laughs> let's say, see, because um, I have Have I separated people of us? Who did I assign? Ooh, it's only the roads. Okay. No good. I need people, but people are assigned. Hmm. Interesting. Oh no, let's hope for the best. Um, okay, <laughs> go back. <laughs> Sorry, this is why I wanted to make a little bit of... Uh, to make it a little bit more reassignable and... Yeah. So the people I want to have on a separate slot and the rest will go on a slot, I think. Because you go there, you are... Yeah. So these are basically everyone except of the people. These are the people. Okay. Because I want to... I think you can go on auto search. Also you can go on auto search for a long time. Because um, I want to assign the people where I need them to go uh, to use them in a more controlled way. If there are people everywhere and the crane is somewhere else, it's no good. I made a video about this, how to use efficiently people and crane. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, how to use efficiently people and crane. Yeah. Here's a power connection. Let's plump in the power. We are on realistic mode, so everything power related should be set up this way, because you never know when you want to extend or branch off, branch in your power connection. So even though I'm not planning a super long place rule, I will use it like this. I can plump in more in the backside. Oh, Licky. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> fuck. Okay. I blame you. Yeah? Okay. Full credit goes to Licky. Um... Yeah, um, <laughs> what was I? <laughs> Don't let you screw me off. Yeah. Mm. Because I have auto assigned them, I can start this and I can do. 
dead. Okay. Let time run because we don't want to sit here forever. Next one is the... Um, we need a passenger part here. To go into these two factories. <laughs> passenger part. Passenger part here. So a basic bus station will do. Let's plump you in more or less parallel to you. Okay. Make it here. Do that. Sign you. Okay. Should be auto assigned. Time running. Okay. Good, good. Um, because of uh, if you watch Tamuda's video, I have a running theory when it comes to fires, and I think fires come if you start to export, or if you have population and there's an additional grace per period. So in the first year or so, it does not burn. Heaven, never seen it burn. But after one or two years, it can burn. There's no guarantee that it will burn or should burn, but, you know, better safe than sorry. I would look really stupid if a uh, construction office would burn out. No, no, no. It's what we don't do. Uh, how long are we talking here? We talking here... Too long. 400 meters. Okay. I'll make it a little bit less too long. We'll go away. Make it like this. Make it like that. Do you know do you need people? No. You have a slot for an excavator. Build us a little people out the barn. How many meters? Okay. And 51 should be fine. So if I. Could be also. Mm, mm. No, let's make it directly. You never know what's up with the game. People auto burning. Can we do it somehow? Oh, make it so. Okay, man. Thank you. Okay. So, these are building. Looks really good. Okay. Let's take a look at the oil business. Mm, is another pump ready? Or done? Or something? They need stuff. Stuff is on the way. No love for you. Hey, they are busy. Let's hope for the best. Ugly rock. Mm. So let's cheese our way to victory with the power lines. Give me the cheese tools. Yes. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. Another positive thing is uh, you save money. You save work days, and you also save you some hassle if you want to build something under the lines. So if you have less dense line setup, uh, yeah, they are less in the way, obviously. <laughs> so make it super cheesy here. Maybe make it like this one. It's 
diese äh, Dingleberry Line. Yep. Lock them in. Lock them footpath out. Okay. Get back to work. Should be auto assigned. Uh, let's assign the people. People here. Okay. This one uh, lower priority and also assign the people. Okay. This one is done. Nice. They are on it. Okay. This one is done. Yeah. They are also on it. Really fast, guys. Okay. Let's make the footpath happen. What are the pumping guys doing that they are so slow and the others are so fast? Nice. You are hurting the economy. Okay. So he waits for people. Uh, 200 work days. Yeah. Nice. Should be fine. Let's take the pump with us. Pump. You come here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. How we are looking here. So this one. Let's deselect all of these constructions. Yeah. Yeah. Only construct if I say to construct. This one is in the ground stage work. I'm nearly finished. We can start the next one. Which should be... Where are my... Uh, conveyor belts? <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Was so, f so much fun the first time so I can build them the second time. Thank you, game. Mm -hmm. Let's activate him. I always uh, give my construction crew something to do because conveyor uh, the um, groundwork stage and the second stage will not touch each other, will not get, get it into each other's way. So uh, it's good if you have one building in a construction stage and one in the uh, in the groundwork stage and another building in the data stage. Same goes for the people. So yeah. Okay. Yes, he's in a groundwork stage. There should be an excavator on the way somewhere, somehow. Yeah, see this one. And they also send people because they have nothing to do. Let's assign the people also to this one. Yeah. Okay. One of my favorites. my tools okay. mm. Mm. Noodle, noodle, noodle. Yes. Okay. Pumpy. 50 work days. No one at home. Okay. Um, let's turn you around. Because I need to... Uh, I'll show you. Sixty, 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 sixty-seven. Stop. Stop. Okay. I need a road connection from this factory here all the way around. So, if I need a connection around anyway, I can build it like this one here. Make maybe nice circle. Oh, 
Hm. Good enough. Okay. You go here. No excavators. Okay. I take it. Remove this note. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Oh, nice. Finished. Finished, finished, finished. My people should go on it. Yeah. And the one pump is finished. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, you see the difference in... Uh, and uh, this is half the distance to the um, materials and the border, so they're way faster. Okay, let's create a little bit of conveyors. Yeah, you go here, you go here, you go here. And this one is the super mine. You go here. Lock them in at the same time. Stop most of them. I hope they are stopped. Um, okay, let's double check. Yep, should be stopped. Oh, aren't you? No, they're also not aside. Okay, pump. Stay focus. we need to make money. Uh, you. 40%, two trucks. I always select the material at the source even if I don't need to because I think uh, it's easier to see the what the route does wow <laughs> wow thank you game uh, it's easier to see what the route does if you assign the source of the material and you are certain that not the wrong thing happens which also can be in the game the next pump is ready nearly 50 work days like the last time. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's uh, think about the last pumps we can push in here. So, here's a pumping place. How many percent? 36. This side. 39? Ooh. 39. Okay. Yeah, we have some greenery. 35. Twenty. Not so desperate that I go for them. Twenty. But we will see. Here's also something to add, but yeah. Let's take them. Hmm. Next pump ready. It's a seventy-four percent. Yeah, nice. Okay. So three three oil tanks, please. Which pump are you? Ah, <laughs> pushing through the windows. Yeah, games, something's never change. Mm. This bug is three years old. Yep. 
so that windows can push through other windows <laughs> they even carry it over because this is a new function and still the bug is there so it has historical significance i think Two more guys. Let's get some more oil tanks. When we are here, while we are here. Okay. This one can go away. Each road can go away. Ah, let's prepare for the winter. So Technical services, please. You go in the middle of left to right. Let's hope he does something great. We can go here. Give me some snow blows. SKDs. We determined last time that they are okay. -ish. Let's make only these roads and go for max range. Yeah. Take you with us. Because winter is coming also on the other side of the river. Like here. Let's go on the opposite side of the fire station. Snow plows. Two snow plows and one water truck, please. Water, water, water. Let's make it cheap. <laughs> but not the horse carriage. Each three years. Oh, should be enough. For the needs of the fire station. I do want to water my fire station. Uh, yeah, name and clue is in the title. No, I want to water the uh, fire station. Oh, nice. Also, our money situation going down. Um, finish your sentences. I want to water my fire station because I think uh, water is hurting the productivity of your foreign workforce, which we don't want. We want a productive fire station. So, yeah, water they should have. Uh, sewage, not so much because they are foreign workers, I don't care. They are uh, on their own. When it comes to this one. Mm. Let's give them some power. The construction office should be on it. Yes. Okay. Okay. Should we speed this one up? 700 work days. He is around 20 to 30 work. So divided by 20, it's 40 days. Mm. Yeah. No. Mm. Yeah, no. No. Rather no. I have something to do for my people. If they uh, finish this one up, it should be on high priority. Yeah. Okay, okay. After this one, they can go for this one. Always give them something to do. Regarding this topic, let's go back. Ugly rock. Why I say ugly rock? Look at this. This is... <laughs> Highly unusual rock formation, I would say. But yeah. <laughs> Only my problem, not yours. Um, where are we? Oil feed. Oil feed, oil feed, oil feed. Do you have customers? You have. You also have. Yeah, you're pumping. Busy, busy. Yes. You are pumping. Okay. Oh, new one in the club. 32%. Yes. Two, two tanks. Two oil trucks. I don't know if they are called oil tanks in English. <laughs> like in uh, real correct English, which I don't speak. 
I told you. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah. And let's load. Just let's unload. Yes. And let's start. Yes. And let's assign. Yes. Okay. Let's reassign our constructions. So you are done. Hopefully we don't get so much love. Let's put you on high qual high priority. Okay. Put the people here. Your priority should be okay. Okay, okay. Okay, ugly rock. Mm. Let's take a look here. Yeah, uh, you know it's boring, realistic mode. <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> mm. Yeah, they are on it. We'll finish it fast. Fire station is ready. Let's get them some vehicles. You and you. I want, because I want to have the fire station finished before I have my, this one finished. Let's give them, do I give them some attention? Yes, I think I do. Um, so this one is started. some people attention um, yeah like I said what we really said if a construction office burns down or something something you know we don't want to do this fire station can have some fuel for itself We'll be fueled up after the power goes online. Okay, they are here, they are there, they do this. Nice and fine. They do this. They do that. I can start them. Okay. Good, good, good. Goody, goody, gun drops. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. What is going on? Nice. Good progress here. Ugly rock. Um, <laughs> pumping fuel station. Fuel station with customers. Next fuel station is here. As people has uh, no material. Yeah. This is always the balancing act. Balancing your people and the material. But the fuel station needs so few materials. Two trucks loads and it's done. Two truck loads. Why is nobody here? Ah, because they need people. Do this. So with the setup, you uh, see how the oil is flowing and the oil, <laughs> oil trucks are flowing, and um, there are no trucks waiting here in the before the pubs. And the set setup is really simple and quite. Puristic, <laughs> but it leads to income, you know, and income I need because I'm running on pure loans and loans have to repay it. And um, yeah, so even if you don't do the insane start as mine, um, I have a normal start. Such an oil field is such a nice addition. Um, you can see, for example, I mentioned Hamuda, uh, which has a burnt problem very fast. Uh, Hamuda did a similar thing because he want just to want to support his economy and to support the economy you buy several oil tanks and several pumps and you have a little bit more peace in a realistic start uh, because you have some income which is really important um, you can go for uh, my start for example with clothes 
and but you need to plan everything you need to plan your city and you need to uh, have your factory running and then you had generate some income so it's the financial risk this one is quite financial unrisky so all in all the cost of this oil setup is let's say max 300k and it will generate around 20k we'll take a look um which is super nice but also a little bit overpowered so the first episode i said okay no natural resources but because i'm fully aware of the power of this field um and also you know um Another thing is the game mechanic, which will uh, block you from excess exporting, excessive exporting. You'll get some people. Um, the, yeah, you have some people. So have some people. Uh, it will block you from excessive exporting. So the prices of oil will go down, no matter what I do. Uh, the less population I have, I have zero population at the moment. The prices will go down faster. And if I have uh, some more population, let me assign some people here. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, so we can power up the system, maybe. <laughs> um, but if I want to power up, I maybe want to have some people. Don't know. Let's give you a source of uh, water. So you can water everything you want. Do you? Yeah, go for it. Um, yeah. So, have I decided here? Do they get some people? Love? Tender? I hope so. Yeah. So, the price price balancing in the game trade price update, which came also with a realistic mod upgrade, update, um, prevents you from massive export of things. And... One thing to counter it is go via ship. I will make a deep dive episode into the pricing and I will show you uh, if I have my box set running, um, what is the impact of the pricing and also the impact of inflation because inflation is huge. Don't underestimate it. Inflation is 10% uh, year over year. So uh, in my first playthrough uh, at the conclusion episode, you can see how much inflation was. Um, in essence, vehicles cost the same, uh, cost two times the money after six years. That's insane. Also, steel uh, doubles in price after six years, which is also, um, yeah, which pushes you to be faster. <laughs> because if you have, let's say, of 10 million in the bank and wait six years, you have only 5 million in the bank doing nothing. Because uh, everything costs double the price. The beauty of inflation. <laughs> These ones I don't need. Oh, we are here in the winter, so it's a good good time to stop. Bye. Okay. We are here in the winter. I think like 70% of my pumps are online. 70% of my pumps are working. You should work. Yes. So winter, everything is slowed down. Coming to a crawl. You are working hard thousand meters no much roads okay okay so let's stop it here i have uh, started the construction of the bauxite part i have uh, prepared everything i have fire coverage if i start the buses i have here um, some power should be nice and fine if i activate it yeah I hope next episode we can make some progress on the box side, maybe export the first load. I doubt it because winter slows down everything. Try my best. Um, yeah, and I try my best to keep it, keep the pace high, not to take uh, five or six years to start the first city because this would be stupid. Uh, like I said, the prices are working against you and uh, it's no, no good idea to, to make it this way. Yeah. Mm. Also, the longer I export my oil and bauxite, the lower the prices go, which I talked about. We'll talk about again. Yes. So, in this winter wonderland, I leave you alone. Christmas is coming. Have a good one. See you in the next episode. Bye, guys. <laughs>